This is a completion of the last 11 episodes of the custom Pokemon series. Enjoy! Creating a custom Pokemon for you! Alright, Blonde Beard, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got two, which makes you a three-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Grass type, that's good, definitely classic typing, and Grass normal, I like it. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X Factor, none this time. The first stage of your Pokemon is Shrub Cub! The these Pokemon do not grow out of planters, they just love sitting in them. At level 16, it would evolve into Furlidge. These Pokemon are often purchased by wealthy trainers who just like the aesthetic of them wandering through their yards. At level 35, it would evolve into Grizzlon. These Pokemon are extremely high maintenance and pretty much require a constant level of grooming. Alright, extremely casual, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you're going to be a legendary right at the end there, awesome! Now, legendary Pokemon usually don't evolve, but we do still spin this wheel, we have a chance to, but you didn't get it. Now, let's see what typing your legendary is going to be. Your first type is the Ice type, that's good, that's a good offensive type, and Ice Rock type is actually a notoriously weak combo, but still cool. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see what its X-Factor is, and we have the first corrupted form of the series, awesome! Your Pokemon! Pokemon is Camelanch, the Frozen Peak Pokemon. This Pokemon is said to have existed since the Arctic froze over. And it's this frozen wasteland where it constantly roams, with many trainers curious where its ultimate destination is. But unfortunately for Camelanch, it also caught the curiosity of a distant unknown cosmic legendary, who used its immense power to corrupt Camelanch, infusing it with the cosmic type and making it its loyal servant. Poor, poor Camelanch. Alright, Aura Heart, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now, let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got one, which makes you a two-stage evolution line. Now, let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Water type. That's good. One of my favorite types of all time, and Water Fighting type. Cool. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X Factor, and you do a signature ability. Your Pokemon is Walashi, the sumo wrestling whale Pokemon. In certain Water type focused Pokemon towns, a popular attraction is Walashi Wrestling tournaments. A sport that features two Walashi attempt to bump each other out of the ring. With the Walashi who win these tournaments receiving a special evolutionary trophy item that evolves them into Yokoshi. This proven champion Pokemon signature ability is Dohyo, which boosts the power of all throwing moves. Perfect for this aquatic sumo wrestler. Alright, JJ Gaming, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you're gonna be a Convergent Evolution, cool. So now we spin this wheel to see what generation we're going off of, and it's Generation 4. Which means now we have to spin this wheel that has every single Gen 4 Pokemon on it, and we got Electivire, but it'd be kind of boring just to do Electivire, so let's do Electabuzz, too. Now let's see what new typing this Convergent Evolution will have, and your first type is None, which means whatever the next type is, it's your only type, and it's Ice type. And the last step before we see which Pokemon looks like, let's Let's see if it has an X Factor, none this time. Your Pokemon is Electabur. These Pokemon are known for challenging other Pokemon to snowball fights, which sounds super wholesome until you realize they often manipulate their snowballs to contain sharp ice shards. When exposed to an ice stone, it would evolve into Frostfire. These Pokemon can be extremely dangerous, but thankfully they like to spend most of their times hidden away in their ice caves. Alright, indecisive idiot, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got one, which makes you a two-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Steel type, that's good, that's a good type, and you are Steel Cosmic type, our fan-made type, always hype when we get that. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X Factor, none this time. Your Pokemon is Shelfo, the unidentified Pokemon. These Pokemon hunt for their food by floating on the surface of the water and using their cosmic powers to grab prey. At level 51, it would evolve into Terrestrial. These Pokemon are very mysterious, where some trainers don't believe they exist at all, and others are willing to dedicate their entire lives to finding evidence for their existence. 
All right, depressed potato, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you're gonna be a legendary! That is awesome! Usually legendary Pokemon don't evolve, but we do still spin this wheel where you have a chance, but you didn't get any. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Steel type. That's a good, strong type, and you are Steel Electric type. Cool! And the last step before we see what your legendary Pokemon looks like, let's see what its X Factor is, and it's an additional form. Your Pokemon is Titorus, the ancient guardian Pokemon. It's theorized that an ancient and advanced civilization built Titarus to be a guardian of their city. Until one day, a virus was put into its programming, turning it evil and causing it to destroy the cities that it once protected. And it's this virus, now an item known as ancient programming, that can be used on Titarus to transform it into its ancient wrath form. A power so great, no trainer can hope to contain it. Alright, Kason, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got zero, which makes you a basic Pokemon. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Poison type, that's good, could always use more, and you are pure Poison type, because your second type is none. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X-Factor, and you do a signature move. Your Pokemon is Blightson, the Terror of the Plains Pokemon. Legend says that ancient heroes used to use Blightson Blightson's Venom to poison their arrows, allowing them to defeat any foe. Blightson's signature move is Blight Hammer, a move that has a 25% chance to poison and deals double damage if the foe's already poisoned, making it a toxic double threat. Alright, William, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you're going to be a legendary! That is absolutely awesome! Now, legendary Pokemon usually don't evolve, but we do still spin this wheel. We have a chance, but you didn't get any. And now let's see what typing your legendary is going to be. Your first type is the dragon type. I mean, come on, that is too good for a legendary, and dragon ground is sick! And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see what its X Factor is, and it's a signature ability. Your Pokemon is Dracoon, the Dune Titan Pokemon! These Pokemon are never seen with their full bodies above the ground, with some trainers theorizing that underneath they continue forever. Its signature ability is Dune Titan, which allows it to burrow underneath the surface before it uses any ground type move. A truly unique ability. Alright, Daniel de Guzman, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got one, which makes you a two-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the fighting type, that's cool, and you are going to be fighting ghost type, that's interesting. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X factor, and you do a signature ability. The first stage of your Pokemon is Jabag, the haunted punching bag Pokemon. What was once a piece of discarded boxing equipment is now a vengeful spirit that seeks to hunt down those who used to hit it. At level 31, it would evolve into Bag Chi. This haunted heavy bag signature ability is Grave Counter that makes it do a retaliation attack when hit by a move that it's immune to. And because Bag Chi is a ghost type, that means it's immune to the fighting and normal type, but this ability also adjusts to your terror type, making it a prediction nightmare. Alright, Tiny Rocket Ship, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got two, which makes you a three-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the normal type. A lot of people would say that's boring, but I disagree, and normal ghost type is really cool. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X Factor, and you do a new mechanic. The first stage of your Pokemon is Bunbury, the Dust Bunny Pokemon. This Pokemon is incredibly unique, and to evolve it, you'll have to make use of its new mechanic. You see, just like real dust, Bunburys can collect together. This is reflected in its evolution method where it'll have to reach level 16 while in a full party of Bunburys, at which point they'll combine, evolving into Partagas. But you're not quite done, because if you do the same thing with a Partagas, reaching level 30 while you have a full party of them, they'll combine into a Malgaton! A Pokemon that's super hard to get, but its power makes it worth it. Alright, sheepishly, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got one, which makes you a two-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Fairy type. That's good. I think we needed more. And you're a Fairy Fire type. Cool. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X Factor. None this time. The first stage of your Pokemon is Flamigo, the Dancing Flamingo Pokemon. These Pokemon are constantly dancing with moves so passionate it creates fire. 
at level 27, it would evolve into Pai Minko. These flaming flamingo flamingo dancers are very popular attractions in certain towns, with some even being local celebrities. What's up, y'all? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the custom Pokemon, there's much more where that came from in the playlist. And before you go, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed, hit the notification bell, liked the video, all that good stuff. I'm still a pretty small YouTuber, so all that stuff helps a lot. Thanks again for watching.